Rachel, I have to submit a project on the great scientists of the world and I am feeling so lost. There are so many great scientists. Who do I start with? What do I write? It's just not possible without you. Okay, Pip, I will help you. In fact, I was reading a book on the great scientists and have just finished reading about Einstein. Oh, I know him. Everything about him. Who does not know him? Okay, so tell me, what do you know about him? Mm, he gave the theory of relativity. He was a genius. And... And... And what? Oh, that's it. Is there more about him? Much more. The boy at school, his miracle years, his family, his recognition as a scientist, violin. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Don't just skim over. Tell me in detail. Albert Einstein was born in March 14, 1879 in Germany. He was a slow learner and did not speak until after he was two. Once his dad gave him a compass and Einstein would spend hours just looking at the compass and trying to figure out why it always pointed in the north direction no matter where Einstein went. Was he curious? Yes, he was. Always looking for a why for everything that happened. Hey guys, if you are curious and want to look for a why, then you too have an Einstein in you. Never let your curiosity die. At the age of 15, his parents went to Italy to work, leaving him in Munich to complete his studies. It was then that Einstein became more interested in knowing why things worked the way they worked. Rachel, even I think about the why. Like why is chocolate brown in color? I see the signs of a genius in me. Sure, Pip, but let's talk about Einstein. He had mastered calculus on his own at the age of 15. However, he was never a student who would follow rules. He skipped classes to spend more time in lab. In class, the professors thought he would never achieve big in life. And he proved them wrong. Einstein failed the entrance exam at the University of Zurich the first time, though he passed it the second time. He did not get a job for about two years after he graduated. He was so frustrated that he once thought of selling insurance. Oh, I can't imagine opening my door one day to find Albert Einstein selling life insurance. What a waste of life that would have been. Yeah, babe, but we all have to fight our battles. Back then, Einstein thought he was a loser. Nobody was talking about Einstein at that time. Finally, his friends got him a job of a patent officer at the Swiss Patent Office. It all sounds so unimaginable. Seems like the Einstein that you are talking about and the one I know are two completely different people. Pip, sometimes the only way forward is to believe in yourself. Einstein had his moments of lows, but he never gave up on his passion, physics. With his newfound work at the Swiss Patent Office, he could spare enough time to discuss the latest work in physics with his close friends. Those discussions led him to produce small articles. But the miracle year was yet to come. Miracle year? What is that? The year 1905 is considered as the miracle year for Einstein when he published his work on four scientific topics. All that work in such small resources? He must have become a star. All good things take some time, Pip. It was not an overnight success, but gradually his work was being noticed by the scientific community. As a result, he was offered the position of a scientist at the University of Zurich. The 32-year-old patent clerk finally became Professor Albert Einstein. 
Ever since, he became the part of scientific gatherings and the scientists of the world looked forward to his talks. He was counted among the greatest scientific minds in Europe. Einstein won the Nobel Prize for explaining the photoelectric effect in the year 1921. Was he always one of those serious kinds? A typical scientist? Actually, he had a great sense of humor and loved talking to people. Often, when he was stuck with any problem in physics, he would play violin. It is said that he fell in love with music when he discovered Mozart's violin sonatas at the age of 13. I must say, he had a lot of patience. And patience is not an easy bee to keep. But the honey it makes is the best. Einstein's story is really inspiring. His passion for physics sailed him through tough times. Thanks for helping me, Rachel. Get ready to tell me the story of another great personality next month. By the way, friends, whose story would you like to know? Please write to us in the comment box and we will try to include that in our video series about the great personalities. And if you want to test your knowledge about Einstein and know some amazing facts about him, then hop on to our website www.makemegenius.com. Also, stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to know about our latest videos. Stay safe. See you soon.